Snoop Dogg adding his two cents on Kanye West's controversial week, taking to Instagram to post an edited photo of West saying that he's all white now. In the photo, West's skin appears to be significantly lightened. And that's just one of the most outrageous things I've seen this week. And here with more, Communications Director for Turning Point USA, Candace Owens. What a delight to have you on Justice. I'm so all excited. Right. <laughs> well, we're excited to have you. Let's talk about uh, this this whole thing about uh, the new Kanye is white. What what is that about? Well, let's he... let's think about this. Let's let's do the inverse here. Obama becomes president. Taylor Swift, you know, tweets out her support of him, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of other white artists begin showing her face painted black. What would everybody be saying about that? Racist. They would be calling it racist because it is racist, and Snoop Dogg is not excluded from being called racist because he's black. This was a racist act. Okay, and he's basically calling him an Uncle Tom. Correct, Uncle Tom. And and at the end, I mean, w does he join the whole other? part or they everyone it's it, it's McCarthyism isn't right. it? it honestly it's disgusting behavior and I say this all the time the most racist things that have ever been said about me on my journey towards conservatism are said to me by other black people not white liberals not white conservatives other black people who refuse to allow you to think differently than what they've identified as the proper monolith you know, that's a very interesting uh, that's a very interesting thought because I mean someone who is white doesn't say you can't think this way because you're white I I mean, do they? Is, is that the group think? Or is the group think just in certain communities? It's, it's the group think in certain communities. I mean, it's just the black people that are voting for the Democratic Party 93%, you know? So that's the problem is that they don't understand that they're not thinking differently. And when somebody dares to think differently, this is how they react. It's vicious and it's ugly. And I'm really upset with what Snoop Dogg did here. It's disgusting behavior. Well, you know, it's it's invoking a certain fear that if you don't join what everyone else is saying, it doesn't give you the, the ability to think for yourself. In any event, uh, I want to go on to uh, a Detroit radio station uh, boycotting Kanye West music. Take a listen to this. As of this moment, we will hashtag mute Kanye on the morning bounce and we will not play any of Kanye West music. We are banning Kanye West music from this radio station. Okay, now that is a decent-sized radio station banning Kanye West music because Kanye West tweeted that he likes Trump. Yeah, and like I always say, challenge yourself to consider the inverse. Challenge yourself to consider if they banned Taylor Swift's music because she supports Obama. It's, it's saddening and it's disheartening to me that this is the reaction that he's getting from people that once loved him because he doesn't think the way that they want him to think. His mind is not his own. This is why I call this ideological slavery because that's exactly what it is. You're only, they only enjoy you to the extent that you celebrate their own ideas. Interesting. I want to jump now because we don't have that much time. There is a mural of Trump on a uh, Chula Vista school wall that is uh, 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 sparks controversy. Uh, do we have a photo of that? Okay, I guess it's so bad we're not going to show it. All right, so this is outside a school uh, with an image showing an attack on the President of the United States. You know, it's unacceptable, but I don't blame the students, I don't blame the parents, I don't blame the artists, I blame the media, I blame the celebrities for making people think this is acceptable behavior. They have, we, every award show we watch, they're mocking the president. We have songs that are coming out that are mocking the president. We have Snoop Dogg re re releasing albums that show the president dead, where he's pretending to shoot the president. What do you expect the response to be when they're watching people that they idolize say that this sort of behavior is okay? Of course it's going to start to take place on a more molecular level, and that's exactly what's happening here. You know, it, it reminds Reminds me of when you know they were taking a knee in the in the football uh, that holds that whole thing going on. And kids at schools, high schools, younger, they're taking a knee too. They kind of follow what they think is being taught to them or what's being imposed on them. Monkey Scary see, stuff. Monkey see, monkey do is exactly what this is, and it's sad and it's dangerous because the slope is very slippery. Let's see if there gets another president in there that's that's Democrat. You can't then say that this behavior is unacceptable down the line. You are an amazing young woman. Candace Thank you so Owens, much. thanks so much for being with us. All right, the left's attempt to shut down and just demonize conservatives in this country is ramping up again. This time, they're attacking African-American conservative commentator Candace Owens for taking on Black Lives Matter protesters during an event at UCLA. Take a look.
What is happening right now in the black community, you're going to hear it in this room first, there is a, an ideological civil war happening, black people that are focused on their past and shouting about slavery, and black people that are focused on their futures. Victim mentality is not cool. I don't know why people like being oppressed. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. I love oppression. We're oppressed. 400 years of slavery, Jim Crow, which by the way, none of you guys lived through. Your grandparents didn't. It's embarrassing that you utilize, you utilize their history. You utilize their history, and you come in here with more emotion than they ever had when they were living through it. More emotion than they ever had when they were living through it. It's embarrassing. You're not living through anything right now. You're overly privileged Americans. And on Saturday, Kanye West praised Owens on Twitter, and he wrote this, quote, I love the way Candace Owens thinks, but not every one of Owens is a fan with compliments and support Kanye West support. Look at what Tom Arnold went on a sexist, brutal, vicious, hateful, racist tirade on Twitter. Here's just some of what he tweeted. Aside from being an insane alt-right race pimp, Candace Owens thinks Donald Trump is literally the messiah, not you, at Kanye West. So you might want to reconsider. He also wrote, at Real Condes, uh, good luck uh, well, glomming on to Kanye West. His family already told him you were a phony and a fraud, a former Democratic bad actress. But I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Candace now joins us here. Um, you are a total star. I watched that tape. I am so impressed and so happy for you that you have this gift. But I am so sad for you also that you have to take on those vicious attacks like that. Thank you so much, first of all, for the compliment. It means a lot coming from you. And let me tell you, do not be sad for me. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I intended to happen because I knew exactly what I was going up against. When you go up against the left, this is what they do. They try to essentially say that you are not allowed to think differently. I say it all the time. Blacks are ideological slaves and pawns to the Democratic Party. Try and invest in real estate. If you don't put your money on a, under a mattress, believe me, I know what you mean. It's not the same, though. How I watch Kanye West, I was so happy that he did that because that's what I always thought. Everybody should embrace this freedom. Why do so many have a, have a problem with this? It's not a problem with it. You have to think about what the left has done successfully. They've hijacked our education. They've hijacked our families via LBJ and the Great Society Act, taking away black fathers so that black youth would start to look at hip hop culture and, and NBA and at NFL athletes for the right direction. This is why they are constantly utilizing Hollywood. And there's developed this underground system of conservative thinkers in Hollywood for fear of losing their jobs. Kanye West is just the first person that's brave enough to come out swinging against them and saying that he has a right to think according to how he would like to. I, I really thought, honestly, it was so refreshing that he did that, and I was, uh, I was happy for you. You know, uh, a very dear friend of mine, Deneen Borelli, she's been a guest on this program often. She wrote a best-selling book, uh, Blacklash. The first thing she writes in the book is Google my name. And because she happens to be a black American who is conservative, the things that come up are the most vicious. Why? Why do you think that is? Well, I think that the reason is because politics is downstream from culture. And if they lose the culture war, they lose absolutely everything they have. They cannot afford to have black people thinking differently. If we move the black vote even 5%, the Democratic Party is absolutely finished. So it's essentially a house of cards that they've been building. When you get black icons like you... Kanye West, you get... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish your Go thought. On. No, finish it. Or you get black stars to speak out against them, they're in serious trouble. Look at under President Trump, uh, black and Hispanic unemployment is at the lowest level it's ever been at. 14 states have record low unemployment numbers. After eight years of President Obama, 13 million more Americans were on food stamps, 8 million more were in poverty. I said that every night. Do you think this is going to change? Because the Democrats, they'll, every year, every election year, they play the race card. Republicans don't want to count you in the census. Uh, the James Byrd ad and so on and so forth. Do you think this changes? Is there a cultural shift based on results coming? 
100% there's going to be a cultural shift. And you mentioned the Black Caucus, which stood for more food stamps when Obama announced it, but sat when Trump announced black unemployment. That is disgusting, okay? And that is because they work for leftists. It has been infected. It is a swamp. And I'm telling you right now, we are on the brink of an ideological revolution, and the black community is going to start waking up. And I'm so happy that I get to play a part in this. I, I got to tell you, I admire you so much. You are a force of light and a star and... Um, I am going to really enjoy watching your career trajectory just soar. And I wish you all God's grace and success in the future. Thank you so much for being with us. And thanks. Thank you, Kanye, for what he